Project Tuesday. Last week, I promised you a review of the Sterling Microwave Air Fryer Oven 3 in 1. But you see, in the one week I've been using it, I have discovered it is more than 3 in 1. It is multi purpose in one. In fact, it has become my favorite kitchen gadget of all times. I love it. By the time I show you all the features and functions, you will understand what I'm talking about. So, let's get started today and for the introduction. Let me tell you what I found out about it. Sterling is owned by Aldi. What are we going to do about these Aldi people? It's as if all the kitchen gadgets I love, they own the brand, they own the trademark. They should go make me share all that now, eh? <laughs> so, Aldi owns Sterling and Sterling, yeah, this Sterling microwave air fryer oven is also for the Australian market but it is recommended for international use and it has an international warranty of three years okay i don't i still don't know if it covers nigeria but yeah anybody that can back their air fryer with three years i doff hats because almost all air fryers have only one year warranty because of the amount of heat generated heat uh, affects a lot of gadgets so they generally put one year but this one Three good years, I mean, that's amazing. So, that is it for the introduction, owned by Aldi. <laughs> now, let me move on to the build. For the build, the body is all metal. All these sides, they are metal. But this front, they are plastic and glass. All these places, they are plastic. These buttons, they are plastic. But this side is metal which is why it is recommended that you plug it to a grounded F, grounded plug with F. So please don't forget that. If not, it can cause electric shock. Now, let me show you the accessories. We have the baking tray and look at the back. It has a silicon back. Then we have the rack. If you want to use the upper rack, you put it like this. If you want to use the lower rack, you put it like this. We have the glass turntable. That's for the microwave. But the glass turntable should always be inside, no matter what function you are using. Then we have the turntable wheel. This is the turntable wheel. And basically, that is it. Apart from this... That is supposed to be there. It holds the bottom of the turntable. Uh, this is the side it fits into. You can see that. Let me fix it back. Then let me show you the interior. You can see the interior. Vents. This is what makes air frying and convection baking. All these places are vents. Heat and fan coming through there. Up here, you have the grilling rack, so that's what makes it also a grill, that you can grill with it. And it has light in this corner. When it is switched on and in use, the light is on. When you open the door, the light goes automatically off. So, this front is heat proof. But please make sure nothing scratches it. The moment it scratches, if you are using it, it can, it can, sorry, it can shatter. So make sure nothing scratches it. This part and the inside glass, take care of it. It's very heavy. So this is not something you can be moving up and down. You have to find a place to put it. And let it just stay there. If not, logging it around. Woo! <laughs> it's not child's play. Okay, so that's it for the build and the accessories. Let me move on and show you the functions. My favorite part. <laughs> this is the LED display. Everything you're doing, you're pressing here, shows up here. You can see. That is where everything shows now the first button this is the air fry button and crispy grill air fry is normal air frying crispy grill means you want to crisp up the top like when you make pizza and you want the cheese to melt or something you want the top crispy that is the function now 
you press it once for air frying second time for crispy grill you see that so let me clear this up now this button controls the uh, microwave grill convection which is the oven baking and combination uh, cooking the uh, you press it once for microwave second time for grill third time for convection that's the baking and fourth time for combination baking combination baking is when you are using all the functions together you, it employs the microwave function the grill function and the convection co function all in one that's the combination cooking there are certain foods that you need that for you see in the manual let me clear it up now defrost this is the defrost button if you have something frozen you want to defrost it this is the button that works for that and you can defrost in two ways either by weight that's the defrost one or by time defrost two by weight means you measure the weight of the thing then put it inside click the defrost use this to take the weight and then based on the weight it will know how long it should defrost for and at what temperature if you are using defrost two you are doing it by time no need for weight no need for anything just put it and set defrost in 20 minutes defrost in 10 minutes so that's what this does clear low temperature control yes i love this this low temperature button they are already preset for things that use extremely low temperature number one is for slow cooking number two to keep food warm number three to dehydrate like you want to dehydrate your herbs and spices number four for yogurt yes you can use it to make yogurt number five for warming your uh, plates like if you want if you don't want to serve with cold plates you know all those fancy servings <laughs> that's what that one is used for then uh number six is for dough if you want to uh, why did i skip it now okay it's still the same one sorry the same one for warming is also for dough i forgot so it, you can use it for your bread dough that's number five if you want to bake bread and you want the dough to rise that's what this so just put the dough inside it knows the exact temperature to set it that it won't bake the bread it will just make it rise see how i think this thing is amazing okay this is another amazing function refresh when i first saw refresh i thought it all it would do is maybe re restart everything for you and everything that's why i said read manual it is not to restart anything no it is actually to clean out smell and smoke from inside assuming you use it to do suya and the smell of suya is there and the next thing you want to do is bake cake you know the smell of the suya will enter the cake what you will now do is you will remove all the suya out you will close it close the door then press the refresh button you see it's not pressing it doesn't press till the door is closed you will now press the refresh button what it will do is it will release air and steam and wipe out all the smell and smoke so that by the time you open it again everything is smelling like new you can now bake your cake see how amazing that is all air fryers should have that imagine all those days i would do a uh, chicken after doing chicken i want to toast bread and next thing my bread will be smelling of onions and everything you see it's amazing i love it <laughs> okay this is clock you can use this to set the clock look at that you can set six o'clock and things like that and then you can also use it to time your food when you want to use the manual uh, operating you want to be the one to set the time of your food that is what you use to set time you can see this is 25 minutes one minute 40 seconds you can set it up to 95 minutes is the maximum setting you can set except on slow and on low temperature control when it is on low temperature control it can set up to 12 hours it's just all around amazing so yes this button here you have been seeing me roll it this button is used for many things number one it has preset menus preset menus mean 
menus that are already pre-programmed there for different kinds of cookings. This preset, it has 10 preset menus. This is 10. Let me start it from one. This is the first preset menu. The first preset is used for reheating. Like if you want to reheat your food, the, you've made food, it is no more cold, it is no more hot, you want to reheat it. That's number one. Number two, for potatoes. You want to bake potato. At this time and temperature has already been preset. You just set this and press start and your potatoes will start cooking. Number three, for meat. If you want to do meat, steak, suya, all those things, this is the function that handles that. Just press it, press start. Everything has already been programmed. Vegetables, fish, pasta, for soup. Yes, you can use it to cook soup. You can imagine. Hmm. For cake. Now, let me tell you something about cake briefly, just briefly. For the cake, you need to put the, uh, for the auto setting, you need to put the weight. So, when you've put your butter in the, in the cake pan, you take the weight and when you choose this preset function 7, A7, auto 7 for cake, you enter the weight of the cake, then you put it inside. Based on the weight, it will set the time and the temperature for you. That's how this one works. That's for cake. Uh, sorry, 7 is for soup, 8 is for cake. Sorry, I made a mistake with that. 8 for the cake. Yeah, then 9 for pizza. Why does it keep switching back? Is my hand touching it? It's very sensitive. Nine for pizza and ten for roast chicken. So those are the preset functions. And because they put pre, uh, the say chicken or something, it doesn't mean you can't use it for other things. Like for uh, meat, you cannot. Uh, sorry, for pasta, you can also use it to cook rice. For meat, you can also use it for different kind of things. You understand? It's the time and temperature that matters. So this is weight you can use to set weight. Then this is timer. Let me clear this. Like if you want to set the time for cooking, assuming I want to use the grill. This is grill. I'll now set time. The reason it's not setting is because the dial is not closed. But this is actually for the timer. So that is what that one is for. Let me clear it. Then this, as always, you can see the way I've been using it to clear. If you make any mistake or you want to change the function, you just use this to clear and to also switch off the LED. The, this thing is still on, but the LED is off. This LED is off, but the microwave is still on. And this simply shows the LED again. Then this is for your start, to start cooking. Anything you press here, anything you set, you have to press this to start it. I cannot press it because the door is open. Also, when you are already cooking and something and you peep inside and you see, ah, it needs more time. This is also the button you press. You don't need to switch anything off. Just press and it will be increasing by 30, 30 seconds. So assuming you want to increase it by two minutes, you press it four times. That's 30 seconds, four times. That's two minutes. So this is also the button for that. Isn't it all around amazing? Let me move on and tell you the safety things to note about this. Safety feature number one. Do I have to tell you again? Read your manual. Yeah, I could like the styling. You see the way the functions are set. If you don't read the manual, you cannot operate it. Me that I was thinking, oh yes, I is normal kitchen gadget. I pressed the first one. I was like, okay. I couldn't even guess what it does. <laughs> but thankfully i read the manual and even till now with how i've used it over the past weekend even till now that when i still want to read, i still have to like consult the functions to know okay this is what i need to press for this and that so read your manual is after continuous use you'll be able to use it very well but believe me it is worth it number two safety also written in the manual it is not everything you can use for all the functions. Like you cannot use a metal wrap for the microwave or function. Those of you who have been using microwave before, you know this. You don't use metal with microwave. So this should not be anywhere inside when you are using microwave. Now for this also, you cannot use it with microwave. It's metal. Don't use it with microwave. You can see that. Also for, uh, for baking, 
don't use the well you can use the rack for baking no problem with that but for this bottom don't use it for grilling because of the bottom don't use this for grilling it's actually it's written in the manual parchment paper you can use parchment paper for microwave you can use parchment paper for grilling you can use parchment for baking so all those things they come like that please note it down don't make a mistake with it it's an amazing uh gadget do not misuse it i'm begging you it's too lovely to be misused <laughs> another thing please do not move your gadget to the wall it needs space because when it's cooking it generates heat not too much heat but the reason it doesn't generate too much heat is because it has vents so the vents can be cooling it down so it needs that space to cool down if you see it is generating too much heat please look at how close it is to the wall make sure nothing is beside it and also this applies to all kitchen gadgets i don't have to tell you this don't use it near fire keep it away from fire make sure it is not near heat a place that is hot don't use two kitchen gadgets that emit heat close to each other don't do that please it's not right so Mm. what else do i want to cover about this for you my recommendation i'll be 100 percent recommend if i let me tell you the funny thing when i was researching about it every review i saw was giving it five stars as in that's how amazing this gadget is this sterling microwave air fryer oven they were just giving it five star, five star, five star on every review. I was like, ah, ah, by the time myself, I've been using it. I see that, okay, my own is even six stars, not five stars. It is amazing. It's worth it. And as always, you know, I'm going to round up with the recipe. <laughs> so let me show you how to bake a delicious cake inside it. Down, then we turn it out.
gadget everybody should buy it i will put in the description where you can buy it from and speaking of where to buy it, today's episode is sponsored by frankincense kitchen gadgets who is the seller of this sterling microwave air fryer oven you will see all the contact details and the website address where to get it go get it from him believe me you will love this gadget until next week tuesday don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for eh click the notification button so that whenever videos come out you will just be getting the notification immediately and don't forget to give me a thumbs up i'll really appreciate it tell your friends and family about it so that they can also follow Till next week again when I'll be bringing you another amazing gadget review. It's Lagos Housewife. Stay blessed. Bye.